So I recently posted my review and my takeaways of my week with the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. My wife was a big fan. I talked about that a lot in the video. I also did some demonstrations and some other things. Anyhow, the internet, not so positive. Big surprise, right? Here is what some of you had to say about this vehicle. Not so much my video, but the vehicle. Here's one of the first comments below my video. The 2020 through 2023 Volkswagen Atlas was rated the worst in class for reliability according to JD Power and Consumer Reports. I don't expect the 2024 to be much better. Pessimistic much? Feedback to that comment, I've got the 2019 Atlas with over 60,000 miles. It's been performing spectacularly. Don't believe all the naysayers. Follow up, I too have the 2019 V6, no issues until 40,000 miles and running strong, but never buy a turbo. The final comment in this thread, JD Power is rigged. They constantly rank terrible cars as good and good cars as bad. Just look up all the recalls on the Kia, then read JD Power reviews. This comment from King Kong, who had no idea, had a YouTube account. Never touch a turbo for that price. If Atlas is V6, then it was reliable. VW is making great profit by packaging 2-liter engines like in a Mitsubishi Lancer. Instead of boosting power of V6 Atlas with electric motors, they went to the worst. TV sticking out, no gear, no center dials, no AC controls. Travels 3577 replied to King Kong with this, I would never again get a turbo engine more problems than it's worth. John Goodwin replied to Travels 3577, nice looking rig, would never buy one, but lease it might be the way to go. Don't trust VW to be trouble free. This comment from The Rule of Fire, Wifey is a smart one, I'd keep her if I was you. Not that there was any question of that. Would pick this over the overpriced, poor quality Telluride. And then, right here, wife says yes, wallet says no thanks. Here's some thoughtful feedback from Metafox278. Seen this and the Cross Sport on my other favorite car review channels. If I were shopping in this segment, I'd probably go with the Cross Sport instead just because I don't necessarily need the third row. Still the same specs as a third row and just as spacious in the back for being a two row. The drivetrain looks to be a bit better too. I was thinking about test driving the old three row Atlas just to see exactly what the old VR6 engine is like since one used car dealer has a few, in higher miles, on the cheap side. I'd be spending a fortune in gas for it though, and that's one thing that's turning me away from that one. Still, I gotta think, if they're giving this to the Atlas, I'm wondering what they're cooking up for the Tiguan. I know that one's bound for a mid-cycle refresh at some point. Marty I-398 looks pretty nice, although looks to be lacking in rear passenger space. I'm still partial to the Honda Pilot with great passenger and cargo space and stolen reliable non-turbo V6. How about this one? I would never buy a Volkswagen. Had loads of friends with them and they turned out to be electrical system nightmares. One even used the Lemon Law to get rid of hers. But you go right ahead. They always look cool with cool features, but turns out it's a little more important to me to have a car that will go when I need it to go. Mr. Guru Little 7000 responds, Volkswagen makes nice cars, but they have too much technology. This one from Kareem, who has two kids, says they have the 2018 Atlas V6 all-wheel drive SEL trim level, got it back in December 2017. Been pretty reliable, had no issues. It's honestly been the perfect family utility vehicle due to its size and function. From moving people to large items or both, it is among best in class. Only complaint is the gas mileage and wish the driver area had more softer materials at touch points. Otherwise, it's perfect. From what I've seen, it's either a hit or miss with Volkswagen and reliability. People either have the worst experience with them or perfectly reliable. I personally don't trust Volkswagen's turbo engine and felt safer with their V6, which has been proven to be bulletproof for the most part. They finish off by saying, I have confidence this drivetrain will last. Last but not least and most recent, what's better, the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas or 2024 Ford Explorer ST? My verdict, they say, only lease them for three years brand new with factory guarantees. As for me, I would choose Acura or Lexus products. Goes to show you, the internet, undefeated, as usual. What do you think? Are the YouTubers off base or are they right on the nose? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please click.
click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Thank you.